Earth 4.5 billion years ago was very chaotic, with constant volcanic eruptions, deadly atmosphere with extreme weathers, and constant bombardment of meteors and asteroids. We know that through dating and examining earliest materials we have found. But four and a half billion years later, things got a lot more calm. Living organisms completely changed the planet and pretty much alive things rule Earth. There is life even at the coldest and hottest places on Earth, in the form of a microscopic life. Still, this is not the most calm or uneventful period there was in the history of Earth. For that, we have to go back to about 2 billion years ago. So let's go back in time and see what would it be like to spend a day in the midlife of Earth. So for starters, the day was a lot shorter back then, around 15 hours. So taking a look at Earth from space, you would see a very unrecognizable place, like it is another planet, different continents with no green on them, different from what Earth is like today. Landing on the surface, it would be clear that there is no complex life. You would see a very barren and rocky landscape. The soil would be noticeably different, and that would go on for thousands of kilometers with nothing particularly unordinary, except maybe some volcanoes could be seen and tall mountains that are not here today. But in order for you to be even standing and walking on this ancient surface, you would need to be equipped with some kind of a suit that would protect you from harmful UV radiation and you would need an oxygen tank for you to breathe properly. Now, there was an ozone layer, but there was not enough O3 to protect from UV radiation and there was a few percent of free air oxygen, but still there was few times less oxygen than free in the air than there is oxygen now at the top of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth. So, without an oxygen tank and a suit to protect you from UV radiation, you would die somewhat quickly. Taking a look at the sky, the color would seem different, since the chemical composition was also different. Because there was very little oxygen, the sky likely was not as blue, or dimishly blue. Still, it would make the whole planet seem very alien. And the moon, if visible, would appear gigantic because it would be many times closer. Going to the shore to see the ocean, it would be beautiful as always, but the color would seem a bit darker since the sky would be different. But this time, while swimming, you would not be able to see any fish, jellyfish or sponges or anything visible. The bottom would be just filled with soil, nothing complex. So by swimming, you would not encounter anything scary or fascinating. The waters would be peaceful for tens of thousands of kilometers. It would be a big empty ocean. But that is in our big world. If you were to bring a microscope and see the water, you would see lots of bacteria, which would be mostly cyanobacteria. That bacteria pretty much ruled the world for billions of years before us. Arguably, one of the most successful species on Earth. They were in every corner that has water, and they were throughout the whole ocean. And without them, almost every alive thing today would not be here, because cyanobacteria was the first to produce oxygen and pretty much filled the air with oxygen, allowing for everything else to start. This crucial event for evolution is called the Great Oxidation Event. They are the blue-green algae and they look like that in groups. And even today, from space, in groups, they can be seen. Despite individually being microscopic, cyanobacteria in groups form something that covers an enormously large surface area. The green bloom in this picture is a colony of cyanobacteria. Now, this is also around the time that other bacteria also diversified a bit. So, there would be other microorganisms which could be seen. Now, that is if you bring a microscope, but what if you bring a powerful telescope? Pointing it at the moon, some amazing sights would be seen, such as the site of an active volcano on the moon. And in general, since it was closer, it would be like you are there. Pointing the telescope at the planets, they would all seem a lot different. Let's start with Venus. We have evidence that it was not a hot hell world as it is today, but rather a warm place. And you might even spot oceans on the surface of Venus, which could also harvest life. Mars would also likely be different looking, 
It as well had large bodies of water, meaning you may even spot some lakes. And Marsk at that time could also harvest it life. Looking at Saturn, it may not even have its rings. And looking at Neptune, it may not have its largest moon, Triton, since Neptune captured it likely later. And those are so far some differences we have found, although it is almost certain that you would spot some very big differences that we haven't found out about yet. So all in all, it was the most peaceful time. There were no predators trying to eat you. You also wouldn't need to worry about an asteroid falling on your head or a volcano erupting. All around it would be quite an experience. You would be able to discover the secrets of the past and give answers to many currently unanswerable questions.